we knew from the beginning of, of going down the road to work on Son of God that the, the production values, the scale had to be epic. This is, for billions of people, the most important story in their lives, more important than their families. This is the story of Jesus Christ, the Son of God. And this was an epic time of thousands of pilgrims coming into Jerusalem. And we wanted to show the scale and the CGI of old Jerusalem as an epic city. Um, it really feels like an, one of the old, big, epic movies. And you get swept up in this. And yet, there's also the intimate moments. We uh, put together an advisory list of over 40 church leaders, historians, theologians, to advise us to get it right. And yet, not simply to tell it in a dry way, but to tell it in an exciting connection way, but while being accurate. And it's amazing to read the Bible along with the film and look at these sayings of Jesus and the moments of the disciples and Caiaphas and Pilate. And it just comes to live on the screen and it's fun to look back at the Bible and read the words. Diogo Morgado, the Portuguese actor who portrayed Jesus Christ in the movie Son of God, is a very fine actor. And I think it weighed heavy on his heart that he would do a fantastic job of portraying the Lord. He'd grown up in the church, so he knew the Gospels. And of course, he thoroughly reread the Gospels before the part. And as he was preparing as an actor, he told me he realized there's no way to prepare properly to portray Jesus Christ. He said, I decided to just let the Spirit come through me authentically. And wow, did that work. This actor completely lights up the screen. When you see Diogo Morgado as Jesus Christ on this giant screen, it's an amazing experience. It's an, you cannot take your eyes off of him. And it probably what it was like for the thousands of multitudes who came before the Lord, they couldn't take their eyes off him. The movie is a story of love, of unconditional love, of uh, forgiveness. And it says in the Lord's Prayer, you know, forgive us our trespasses, the mistakes we make, please forgive us, as we forgive those who trespass against us. That's what this movie is all about. It's almost at that very instant you're forgiving someone else, someone you don't want to forgive, but you do it, that you're also forgiven. And the movie has this central value of love and forgiveness because if you're holding on to negativity and negative thoughts, you're just holding your own love and your own spirit back. This is the underlying message. It's about love. Son of God, the movie, is such an important story to billions of people. And I believe the story was meant to be told larger than life, on a giant screen, and watched in community with hundreds of other people. That's what we felt. And having now done several screenings around the nation, with a couple of hundred people and a giant screen, the experience in that community is so different from watching a television series. It really, really comes to life.